the chance to get to talk to talk about um, this powerhouse of a woman every day is really unique. Dr. Charlotte Hawkins Brown was born in Hendersonville, but as a young child moved with her mother to Cambridge, Massachusetts, where she got a top notch education. Educating others became her life's work when she moved back to North Carolina. And when she moved south, she was coming from an integrated public school situation to a segregated public school situation. At only 19 years old, Brown started the Palmer Memorial Institute, a private boarding school where she started educating African-American students. She was also very involved, in addition to running a school, uh, she's also heavily involved in advocacy work. And she was able to raise hundreds of thousands of dollars in Greensboro and Boston from people both black and white. Her school grew in size and reputation as Brown started traveling to lecture, along the way receiving six honorary degrees. She's very involved in nearly any topic you can think of. Brown died in 1961. And decades later, in the mid-1980s, archives and history bought the 40 acres containing the heart of campus. Today, it's the Charlotte Hawkins Brown Museum. You never know what particular part of the story is going to catch someone's attention and make them want to, like, talk with you more. The site's run by three recent UNCG grads, Lacey Wilson, Leslie Leonard, and Sonia Laney. We should not underestimate the power of an individual. There, they give tours virtually nowadays. You never know what particular part of the story is going to catch someone's attention and make them want to like talk with you more. But they know they've done their job when they see how people react during and after those tours. And it's almost a call to action, right? Like they leave with this just incredible feeling of inspiration and they want to go in and be some sort of catalyst in their own community. One highlight is the piano that sits in Brown's home. Her niece, Maria Hawkins, was musically gifted, but not as well known as her talented husband, Nat King Cole. The pair would often visit the school and Cole played that piano. There's something about being able to go in there and dust that piano, right? Even though I have white gloves on and I'm not really touching it, um, to be able to be that close to a part of something that was a, a piece of Mr. Nat King Cole is, is pretty amazing. The highlight for Sonia is meeting some of the people whose lives were shaped on campus. Meeting an alumni feels like meeting a celebrity. Like, it's like fangirling over them. Some saying those years influenced their lives more than many others. And obviously there were things happening at this school um, that are just kind of beyond our, our current understanding. The lessons learned here, all relevant today. She was very vocal about her beliefs, and I think that's something that we can still take to heart today. And after 2020, perhaps more than ever. Looking at grassroots efforts and connections and commonalities, there's a lot we can learn and a lot that we can take forward in 2021.